Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt McCoy. I'm one of the Ableton certified trainers on the loopcommunity.com team. And today I would just want to show you a very quick and easy video on how to use the 12 step controller by Keith McMillan with Ableton Live. I mean, there's a million ways you can use it. I'm going to talk about how I use it to run pads in my worship set. This is a question I get a lot of like, how do we actually use the controller? How do we plug it in? How do we get it to actually make sound? So here's what I did. I just plugged my 12 step controller into Ableton Live and let's go to live preferences to make sure that the controller shows up. So we're gonna go to MIDI preferences and you can see right here, the 12 step is listed and I have track turned on. The reason you wanna have track turned on is we're telling Ableton to use the 12 step as a device to play an instrument live. So make sure track is turned on. The 12 step is gonna be working just like a MIDI piano. It's the same thing as a MIDI piano, but it's for your feet. So let's close out MIDI preferences, because we're good there. And let's go to create and insert MIDI track. I'm gonna right click on this track, and we're gonna call it pad, and we're gonna make it purple. And now what we need to do is put a sound on this track. So if I go to my instruments, you could put any sound you want on here. I've got one that's an instrument rack. That is, it's called McCoy Shine Pad. I'm just gonna click and drag and drop. And now you can see this instrument is here. Now to enable this track with the 12 step, we need to make sure that this record switch is turned on. So right now the record switch is turned on. And when I hit a key on my 12 step, it'll play a pad. If I hit F, so I have my 12 step set up to play fifths and also have it set up to play legato, which means that when I hit a button on it, it holds that note until I switch to another note or hit stop. To choose those settings, there's actually a preset that's built into the 12 step. If you just look through your 12 step manual, I think it's preset 47 or something. It's called a uh, fifths legato and uh, that will play fifths chords and hold legato. And really all you're doing is you're playing a live instrument within live. So I can just hit a key on my keyboard or on my 12 step and it'll play a sound. It's also nice how it fades in and out, cross fades. Killer for doing transitions or praying. Really, really, really great. Um, you can also, so you can put any sound you want in there. There's another sound that I really like to use that's actually a VST instrument. If I might go to my plugins, VST, go to Massive. Massive's a great plugin. And there's tons of sounds in Massive. If we can get to load up, all right. So here's Massive. And I'm just gonna find my sound that I use a lot. This is called, uh, I love, summer pad and summer pad sounds like this really nice really 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 good pad so essentially you're just using the 12 step as an instrument and you're playing it live and all you need to do is also set your audio outputs. So go to your audio, your in and out settings, and tell this track to go out of whatever output you want to send the pads down. So if you're using an interface, maybe you send it out of a separate output so your sound guy can control the level of the pad. So anyways, we're so glad you guys were part of community. If you have any questions at all, check out the training center. Shoot us an email. We're glad you're with us. Bye.